Glam Stars, I'm Maddie, and welcome to my channel. If you have not yet became an official Glam Star, all that you have to do is hit that subscribe button in order to become one, and let's go ahead and get right into this video. So your girl is winding down and getting ready for bed, and I thought, hmm, why not film my skincare routine starting with the process before I get in the shower and also sharing with you all my skincare routine after I am out of the shower. Everything that I'm using on today will be listed down below, especially the banish items that I will be using in today's video because for those of y'all that are not aware, I am a banish affiliate and you can always use my code METI for $10 off your banish purchase of $50 or more. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all my skincare routine because this video has been highly requested. Okay, so first and foremost, when it comes to me removing my makeup, I always like to start by taking off my lashes. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel complete freedom as soon as my eyelashes are off of my eyes. So I'm gonna start by doing just that. <sighs> I feel much better already, so. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna save these lashes and wear them a few more times. I don't know, is it just me? Let me know down below if you save your lashes and you wear them a few times or do you put on new lashes every time you do your makeup? I'm curious to know. Now the wipes that I use are from Global Beauty Care and these are their collagen wipes but I think I only have one left in here. So I'm also going to use the retinol wipes from Global Beauty Care as well and I always just pick these up at Dollar Tree. Um, either one of these work perfectly fine but my favorite ones are the collagen wipes okay because we need that collagen in our skin but it's so it's, it's okay it's all good I'm gonna be switching in between these on today since I only have one in here I believe and typically I'll use two to three wipes the first two wipes are just wipes that I use with the liquid that already comes on them and with the last wipe I'll use an oil of my choice to completely remove my makeup as you all will see in a minute Make sure that you are being gentle around your eyes. I am stuck in the middle. Yeah, I'm stuck in between. I'm stuck in the position. I'm just a machine. So you're stuck in the middle. Huh? I guess we're stuck in between. Life is a riddle, yeah. And I don't know what it means, no. To get off all of that excess makeup, I'm going to be using my jojoba oil from SPA Organics. You all, I absolutely love this oil and it is super amazing for the skin. And as a lot of people may or may not know, jojoba oil is a non-comedogenic, meaning that it does not clog your pores and it keeps your skin nice and hydrated. So I'm gonna use this on today to get off all of that extra makeup that may be left over. You know 
Now typically at this point if I have a little mustache that I need to shave or my eyebrows need to be you know fixed up and sculpted a little bit I'll go ahead and shave my face but since I don't need to shave my face right now because I just shaved it a few days ago I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face mask of choice but if you all would like a video on how I shave my face definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Today as my face mask I'm going to be using the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask and if you've been following me for a while you know that this is one of my favorite face masks I absolutely love this mask and I use it religiously so I'm just going to be applying this all over my face and I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm going to wash it off and continue with the rest of my skincare routine oh and I also absolutely love the way that it smells if you like pumpkin pie, you're gonna love this one, okay? I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain won't so now my face mask is all applied and while I'm waiting for that to set I'm going to be sharing with you all what I will be using to wash my face on tonight. So tonight I will be using my Vanity Planet Spin Brush on my face and this brush here comes with two different brush heads as you all can see. I will be using the one that is already currently on my spin brush and this is what that looks like. But some nights I do use this and this is from Sunmay and I absolutely love this when I'm using things like serums because you can use this half of your device in order to sink those oils into your face. This is also a very great device and y'all know that I had to get pink in everything. <laughs> so I love this device as well but tonight I'm going to be using my spin brush. Now this is the soap that I use to wash my face and this is the Pears Transparent Soap. I absolutely love this soap and I feel like it leaves my skin so soft and clean but also moisturized at the same time so I definitely recommend this if you are a young lady who has sensitive skin because this will definitely help you on your skincare journey I have never had any breakouts from this particular soap here and it has worked wonders for my skin and not only that but it is also very inexpensive so definitely check this out now this is what we call a skin polish and I like to do this every other night you can also polish your skin every night if you'd like to this is by Andalou Naturals I hope I'm saying that correctly and this just keeps your skin nice and plump it contains vitamin C omega rich emollients and micro polishing chia bluff so all that this is going to do is exfoliate the skin um, it is also going to get rid of all dark marks and keep your skin nice plump and hydrated so I love this as well and I use this every other night so that's everything that I'm going to be using while I'm in the shower I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower and then I'm going to come back and share with you all my skin and also all the extra products that I use once I get out of the shower. See you then. Okay, so I'm fresh out of the shower. Now it is time for me to moisturize my face and to start. I always like to use my Avon Moisture Therapy Healing Lotion. This is their non-scented lotion. And this is great for those of us that have sensitive skin. So I'm gonna be applying this all over my face. I'm going to 
add a tad bit of my Vanish Vitamin C Cream on top of that and this is just going to add some Vitamin C to my skin and moisturize it very nicely as well. And I'm only going to be using the smallest bit of this. I absolutely love this stuff though you guys. So boop, that's all you need. And for my under eyes, I'm going to use some of this here. This is the Be Naturals Queen Bee Peeper Keeper Eye Balm. And I'm going to use this to moisturize my under eyes. And I'm not going to be using much of it at all, just the smallest little bit. Last but not least, I'm going to use the Banish Vitamin C Elixir and I'm going to spray this all over my face. Y'all, this stuff is so refreshing and it smells like peppermint. Oh, I love it. 